certificates. You know, when uh, we celebrated five baptisms here this morning, and, you know, I just want to make it clear, not a single baptism candidate is perfect. I'm not perfect. We're not the perfect people here. If you've come to this church and thought, man, I'm going to find this perfect church, <laughs> get to know us. You know, it's just like home, right? You get that homey feeling. And uh, the thing that they are presenting to us all, though, is that they hope in a living God. They hope in a living Jesus Christ that they believe will make a difference in their lives. And you've heard their stories, you've heard their testimonies, and some of you have walked with them and you can see the changes that they've made in their lives over the last few years. If you walk with me long enough, you'll see how I continue to try and grow as a person as well. And that's what we hope for. We hope for a God who is willing and able to strengthen us to help create change in our lives. You know what they don't need more of? They don't need any more religion. Not a bit. What they need is a relationship with God. Amen. They don't need any more Baptist in them. They need more Jesus Christ in their lives. Mm -hmm. They need to become like Him so that others will see that they carry the same love, the same compassion, the same honesty and lifestyle that Jesus has. Mm. What they're telling you all today through the ceremony of baptism is that they hope in Jesus Christ. It's a funny word, though, hope. It doesn't really seem very strong. I'm hoping, well, I wish you watch you a bit. <laughs> Until you think about what the word hope really means. It means to desire something with confident expectation of its fulfillment. <laughs> Maybe there's something a little deeper here in this word hope. We, we look at the word hope and we find, as we go through Scripture, if you have your Bibles with you, you can turn to Psalm 62.5. Psalm 62.5. I'm just going to blaze through a few of the scriptures here. I'm breaking in a new Bible, so the pages aren't quite broken in yet. <laughs> Psalm 62.5-8 says this. Yes, my soul finds rest in God. Now some of us have a hard time sleeping at night. But my soul finds rest in God. My hope comes from Him. Truly, He's my rock and my salvation. He's my fortress and I'll not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He's my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to Him, for God is our refuge. Hope gives us rest. You know, hope in doing that, defeats worry. Hope defeats worry. You know what hope does? Hope's not such a weak word, is it? Hope in Jesus gives us strength. Gives us strength to persevere and to continue in the face of hardship. Isaiah 40, chapter 31. Breaking into pieces. Isaiah 40, 31. You've heard this scripture before, I'm sure. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar up on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Hope in the Lord gives you strength. You know, hope in this manner defeats discouragement. You know, hope also is a strength to us. As we hope in Jesus, we hope for a future, don't we? We hope that God has more in store for us than just today. Has more in store for us through the trials we've been through. But that God has a plan for us. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, and this is God speaking. I know the plans I have for you. <clears throat> I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Hope conquers Defeatism. You know, we've had things in your life that have pushed you down and crushed you. Well, God lets you know that that's not everything. That is not the end. God is able to take ashes and create beauty out of it. God is able to take whatever situation you've been in and make something beautiful out of it. It's funny, seeds get planted in dirt and they grow into something beautiful. 
Romans 15, 13 says that hope fills us with joy. May the God of hope, the God of hope, fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. This idea that hope cannot just be this little flighty little butterfly thing, but something that totally fills your being, that you are hopeful in life, that Jesus will answer my prayer. He will get me through this. He will be my strength. He will protect my children. He will protect me. You know, our hope in Jesus defeats despair. It's easy to despair. You know, bombs being dropped in Afghanistan, and we wonder, oh my goodness, what's going to come of that? Well, there's hope in Jesus Christ. Mm. This is not the first time there's a war of violence in the world, but the Bible speaks to that. And we know in the end of Revelation, the Prince of Peace comes in all power and brings peace to the world. This all adds up to one thing. It all adds up to one thing. And I hope you catch this. And of all these baptisms, I heard this time and time again from their stories and from countless other baptisms in my life that I've been part of and even my own. There's hope for you. If you came here this morning and you haven't had hope, or maybe you've had a little bit of hope, I want you to know there's hope. Maybe you'll even find a home here at our church. Our, our big thing here is we want you to meet with Jesus. You may meet with Pastor Andrew, great. But more importantly, we want you to meet with Jesus. We want you to connect with a living God. We want you to find hope in Him. We want you to know that you don't have to be perfect to be here. You don't even have to necessarily believe everything I believe, but I do teach from the Bible. But you need to know you'll be valued as a human being. You need to know that you'll be loved here. You need to know that you can find hope here. You can find hope in the scriptures, and you can find hope in Jesus Christ, but sometimes we need to find hope that's a little more hands-on. Now, a body of believers that will walk alongside you no matter what's going on. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 18-21. As I close my little message here this morning. It says this, For you know that it was not with perishable things, such as silver or gold, that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors. We don't even need the Bible to tell us that. If we're living a life that feels empty, man, we don't need a preacher to tell us that. We've got enough mind to figure that out. But did you know that you were bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ to come into relationship with Him? A lamb without blemish or defect. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. Through Him you believe in God, who raised Him from the dead and glorified Him. And so your faith and hope are in God. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a little word of prayer with you, and then I'm going to invite the baptism candidates to come up. We're going to give them their baptism certificates. But if you need hope here this morning, join me in prayer. We will call the God of hope that he would fill you with it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you that in my own life you have given me hope time and time again. Lord, when despair wanted to creep in, when I was overwhelmed with things, Lord, in different situations in my life, Lord, you are the source of my hope. And Lord, this morning, whoever is here this morning who just needs to know that there's hope in this life, that there's more to life than what they've experienced, Lord, that they can find hope in you. And Lord Jesus Christ, I pray you'd meet them even now. Mm. Meet them where they are. Lord Jesus Christ, you have redeemed us. You have bought us back yes, from an yes. empty life. Lord, you have created a pathway to you. And Lord, I'm not just talking about eternal security in heaven, but Lord, right now in our lives, because of what you've done on the cross, mm -hmm. you've opened a way for us to have a relationship with you, the living God, the God of hope. So Lord, meet us now where we are. Mm -hmm. Not where we were, not where we're going, but where we are today. Mm -hmm. And give us hope. Lord, you gave us the cross, you gave us your life. And Lord, you've given us hope, so we grab a hold of that, and we grab a hold of your hand. Mm -hmm. And we say, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ for never leaving us nor forsaking us. Lord, having redeemed us and given us hope. Mm -hmm. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Mm -hmm.
Amen.